Hi there, beautiful souls watching. Thank you. I'm Gabrielle, retired medium in Germany, and I'm going to channel for you the Elohim want to speak. We are the Elohim, the breath of God, the form-giving forces in service to the one infinite creator source, in service to all. Thank you for allowing us to speak to you today. You know that your solar system is located in one arm of your Milky Way galaxy, which is rotating. So your arm of the galaxy with your solar system is moving in a circle. And as the universe, this, your universe, is built like all the others, all the other universes, on the basis of sacred geometry, you are now about to enter another quadrant of your solar system, your galaxy. And this quadrant is about entering another dimension. You are not going anywhere, you are just being changed in your consciousness. It will be heightened, and this already happens, through the emissions of your star you call Sun, which is a conscious being and is emanating higher consciousness rays that work on your DNA and your consciousness. So it is a good idea to care about mediumship and open the doors of perception for other and higher dimensions. The fourth dimension you are entering and some of you are already in it while others are striving to understand what they are suddenly perceiving in the world is kind of divided into a lower part, a middle part and an upper part. What you call dimensions is also called densities. And every density has seven stages of frequency working on consciousness. So there are a lot of people suddenly perceiving things they did not perceive before, like seeing colors, like feeling presences and energies, and these are the first steps of your psychic skills coming online. Like you can train and learn to work with that in mediumship. And you might have noticed that mediumship is coming more and more into the focus because there are popping up a lot of mediums and channelers some self-claimed, some with training, like this one. So she had to learn. And you can all do what she did. You can all learn. 
to handle these perceptions. So in the fourth dimension, of course, you have to pass through the lower densities, which are inhabited by what we call the lesser races and lower consciousness, which is still in service to, so to self and has not made a quantum or consciousness jump or shift or ascension or rapture or however you call that into higher consciousness the middle and the upper fourth density which is already more towards service to others and the concept of service to others contains of course your little self as well because you are all one you are part of the others you are not separated as you are wrongly told and taught by the forces that invaded your planet and wanted just to conquer, exploit and dominate. And this is one trait by which you can always recognize who is in service to self. So the powers that were on your planet, they have to leave or they will crumble because your arm of the Milky Way galaxy is passing now through locations which are of higher vibration and they can no longer live in that so they have to go and they are going only some of their human minions are still following the orders of their so-called et overlords that are no longer in influence and because they are like headless chicken they stick to what they know and they are always only after domination conquering and controlling and your ego was intended in the process of growth and learning of your soul going through all these stages of consciousness it was meant to help you navigate through the material world but it was never meant to be on the driver's seat. So all you have to do is surrender your control. Because the plan of source is perfect and is working, has always worked and will always work. Because source is the highest vibration, frequency and energy that created all that is. So if you are able to surrender your controlling mind, thoughts and ego, you will be much better off in the times coming to you now with a little bumpy up and down because all the wrong structures and institutions have to crumble to make room for the new that is coming and that is already there. So you don't have to break your little human heads any longer about the how and what to do and what not to do because it's all inside of you already what your scientists call junk DNA because they don't understand what's in there is filled with the invisible plan of source 
that makes the seed of an apple grow into a, an apple tree, a big majestic tree that brings good fruit, nurturing the one who eats the fruit. So the same plan is also within you and you are growing and learning and you don't have to know everything about this invisible plan at the moment with your stage of consciousness it is enough for you to know that you are following the plan and that you are doing quite well know that there is good inside of you and outside what you call ETs are mostly other dimensional beings and there is of course like in yourself there is light and shadow or like light and dark or as you like to call it good and bad which can easily distract you into judgment which you are not meant to go there because it is not about good and bad it is about growth and learning and becoming what you really are and what you are meant to be so don't judge the others the so-called bad ones they don't know better yet nothing and no one is ever lost even these so-called bad ones can turn around 180 degree and change nothing is ever standing still the whole universe your milky way galaxy is moving and you are moving as well you are moving through higher consciousness and dimensions and you are growing by that because you allow more new ideas that are old ideas because your forefathers were not primitive they were coming from these stages of consciousness from higher densities that's why they were able to build the monuments you cannot build today with all your technical devices and know that there is always a crossroad because you have to grow balanced and equilateral not only in consciousness moral and ethics but also in the use of technology in truth you are the technology you don't need an iphone to call your friends if you work and train and learn on your psychic skills like telepathy you can communicate with your friends without a cellular you are the technology of source know this and stop giving too much attention to the outside world which is a simulation you are living in to learn and grow it is not the real thing and every civilization in all the other galaxies and on other planet systems they all have to pass the crossroads of technology and some go down the road putting technology high above everything else and they forget to grow spiritually morally and ethically balanced with the development and use of technology so that is one path of development a society can take 
But if it is not in balance, it will not work out well. Some amongst you already can feel that and they know it and you start thinking about it. You don't have to think about that. If you know how you feel about it, then just exercise your free will inside of yourself and choose the path of growing in balance and using technology and devices in a manner that does not block the growth of your inner technology, of your psychic skills and psychic senses that are innate and built into you. And the lesser races that are in service to self and many of them came to your planet the so-called good ones and the bad ones but the ones in service to self of course came for robbing the riches of earth your mother a conscious being the planet earth they wanted to mine gold for their own purposes and whatever and they wanted to use the life forms that developed on this planet and they tinkered with your DNA and did this and that but they can never because that's why they are the lesser races they can never really interfere with the invisible plan of source and you have it all within you it's just up to you which way you choose so again and always it's up to you what do you want how do you want the world you live in to be it's a question of frequency and as we told you that the universe is built in sacred geometry which is mathematics or music and frequency so the smallest kind of particle that your scientists were able to detect nowadays is the photon which is light so matter is just the densest form of light the light is within you the photon has the form of an equilateral triangle if you draw it out on a piece of paper then it is two-dimensional if you make it three-dimensional because you are living in three dimensions this is a three-dimensional material world you live in then you get the tetrahedron one of the shapes and figures from sacred geometry and if you notice that in three-dimensionality the tetrahedron as the former two-dimensional equilateral triangle is forming a pyramid with three sides and a fourth side which forms the bottom so you can get an idea about creation if you put things together something new emerges that is creation in music you can play one note and it gets boring only this one note 
and you can play another note or tone. And that can also get very boring if you only have this one or the other note. But if you put these two together, they create a third, which is the harmony, the interfrequency that emerges from playing note one and note two at the same time. Same as if you want to make a fire, you have to put two pieces of wood and then light them to create the fire. If you only use one piece of wood, it's getting very, very hard and you nearly cannot manage to light a fire. So this can give you an idea about creation. You are a creation. You are a co-creator with creator source. So as a fractal, you are able, if you unpack your potentials of creativity and being a co-creator, with creator source, then you really become a co-creator. And then you can find out that all of you and everything that is, every twig, every leaf, every insect, every stone, is part of creation. And by that, part of creator source. Source is all that is within you, around you, and in everything that is. It is not the old man in the night gone with wings on his back and a beard sitting on a throne. That is your human thought. That is your human projection. Source is energy. It is the life force itself that is moving in waves and particles through everything that is. And if you observe the wave form and you have an expectation or an intention what you want to see as the result, like the double slit experiment in physics can show you, then you collapse the wave form into particles. That also is a sort of creation. You are creator beings. That is why some of the lesser races are after you and they try to catch your soul, which is impossible to be killed, but it can be caught in deception. It can be taught wrongly and told lies and this is what happened to you. So you think you are powerless, but you are not. Know this and grow towards it, not abusing it with your ego mind and the controlling energy it has. Just let it happen. That is why surrendering will open the doors to the heaven for everyone that wants to come. And we called you home already. And we told you home is where your heart is because that's where the soul is connected to your bodily vessel. And there is the entrance. But the ego is not able to enter there as long as it is not able to step aside and let go of control. So this is what we want to share with you today, 
to give you a glimpse of the wonderful and bright future waiting for you. We leave you with that. Blessings, love and light, beautiful souls, onto your path. We are waiting for you to come home and we will have a great feast when you arrive. Thank you.